A major factor in the beginning of the season, we, uh, we have two starters back on each side of the ball. A lot of opportunity. We're going to look at the positive. It's a lot of opportunity for our sophomores and juniors and uh, even a handful of freshman kids that are going to step up. And we'll have some growing pains in the beginning, but I think in the long run we're going to be, we're going to be all right. Are there a lot of position battles with all that? Uh... Oh, yes. Oh, yes, absolutely. Across the board, both sides of the ball. Uh, what's your quarterback situation like? Uh, we're going to start a junior this year, Branson Dawson. He's uh, got some very big shoes to fill. As Connor kind of rewrote our entire, uh, Connor Sheehan kind of rewrote our entire record book. But uh, Branson's done an outstanding job all through the summer and uh, here in the fall so far. And we're looking for big, big things from him. What are some other players that uh, you're looking to be surprising impact players this year? Well, we're going we're to have a uh, very senior-laden uh, offensive line, and I think we're going to be strong there, uh, despite the fact we've only got one returning starter. Uh, uh, skill guys, we're going to depend on underclassmen, mostly juniors and sophomores. And uh, it's going to be running back by committee, uh, receiving core. We, again, have some awful big shoes to fill because we had four or five guys that could just go out and get it anywhere on the field last year. But the guys have worked very hard all summer and uh, making big strides. Yeah, uh, you mentioned the running back by committee. Can you tell me uh, some of those names that you think are going to be important this year? Sure. Uh, Nate Roop uh, out of the, out of the uh, halfback position. Uh, Austin Conrad. And um, uh, we got a couple other uh, sophomores out there that are going to do a good job for us. Um, can you tell me what has been the feel of camp so far? Uh, it's kids want to kids want to get on the field and play, and uh, you know we're getting tired of uh, beating up on ourselves. Uh, we're all looking forward to tomorrow night. We get to get on the bus and go somewhere and have some real competition with somebody else. And we've got a very good, very uh, highly uh, respected opponent in Cherubusco, and we're looking to have some fun. Scrimmage game tomorrow night. Yes. Scrimmage tomorrow night, yes, sir. What are you doing to get ready for your first actual game? What are you trying to improve? Well, the that's a that's a big neighborhood rivalry between New Haven and us. Of course, New Haven's a much bigger school, playing a bigger conference, and they've got a lot of kids back this year. I believe they've got nine starters back on defense. So that's going to be a major challenge. It's going to be a great uh, yardstick to measure our progress by. But uh, we're working hard. We're working hard to get ready for New Haven. Um, what are going to be this team's strengths this year? Well, uh, speed, I think. Um, the rest of it, we're just going to have to wait and see. Um, a lot of those guys that you had that graduated last year were some you know, really great players, especially led by Connor. Uh, and, and they're gone now, but is there any momentum built off of that? that oh, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Good point. Uh, you know, a lot of these guys are juniors and sophomores. We're we're part of that ride. We played 13 games last year, went all the way to the regional championship. And um, it, it was just a great, great season. Um, kind of brought Heritage back where we were in the uh, traditional good old days, as, as they like to say, and uh, won a conference, won a sectional. So we're all uh, working to build on that and keep that tradition in line.